This is the fifth section of the functions and graphs chapter. And here we're going to be looking at how we sketch the graphs of y equals the modulus of f of x and y equals f modulus x. Now we've already done the graphs of y equals modulus of f of x where we said y can't become negative. So basically remember what we did was reflect um, parts of the graph below the axis, below the x-axis, the x-axis up. Yeah, and you'll see an example of that here. So there's the original graph. These bits down the bottom, that gets reflected up up here. And um, uh, that bit stays where it is. And then this bit down here gets reflected up there. So these were down here originally, and they got reflected up. The other type uh, that we haven't done yet is y equals, now this time, the modulus is just around the, the x. Now what that means is x will always be made positive before you work out y. So what happens is if x was negative 2, it instantly becomes 2, and you're basically working out f of 2. If uh, x was negative 5, it instantly becomes 5, you work out f of 5. So any negative values of x will behave as if they were positive values of x. So that gives us a clue as to how to draw these graphs. So basically what we do is we take the part of the graph where x is positive, so that will be here, and we reflect it over to the other side. So this part of the graph where x is, ne is negative will disappear completely. This part over here gets reflected onto the other side. Okay, so that's to show that the negative x's behave in the same way as the positive x's. So reflect the positive x part of the graph um, in the y-axis. So that does mean the negative x part of the graph disappears. Now, it didn't disappear with this um, transformation. All it did, it just got flipped upwards. But this negative part of x is gone. Yeah, and you'll get questions where you're given a graph and you need to write down points where it crosses the axis. That's all really important. And if things get reflected, well, then negatives become positives and so on. Yeah. Right. So first thing we need to do is we're going to sketch this graph of f of x equals x squared minus 3x minus 10. So to help me do that, it's a U shaped. So I'm going to factorize it. So x, x, um, 5 and 2, so minus 5 plus 2, so it's got roots at 5, x equals 5, x equals negative 2. So let's do um, that sketch down here. So 5, negative 2. So it goes like this. Okay, we're going to need to know this minimum point down here. Well, it may not be the minimum, but there isn't a minimum. But we need to know that point where it crosses the axis because we're going to want to put that in when uh, we draw the transformations. So at this point, this is where uh, x equals zero. So we just work out um, zero squared minus 3 times 0 minus 10 so that just gives us negative 10 so that means that this is negative 10 here now we've got those points so the first one where the modulus is around the whole thing we take the part of the graph which is below the x-axis and we flip it up so you end up with something that looks like a bit like a w so it goes like that then it goes like that and it goes like that. And these points here are going to be the same, negative 2 and 5. And this point up here is going to be plus 10, 
because it just flips up from negative 10 on the first one and C now the modulus sign is around just the X which means we take the positive part of the graph and we flip it into the negative part of the graph so we're going to end up with a graph that sort of goes down like this yeah now I know that the minimum isn't is going to be over this side somewhere because the minimum's always halfway between these two values so if I were to put those together and divide by 2 so 5 minus 2 is 3 3 divided by 2 um, 1.5 so the minimum there is at 1.5 it's symmetrical yeah because that's the same distance away so I know that actually well that minimum there is 1.5 so when I reflect that I'm going to end up with something like that it looks like an upside down McDonald's sign so this is 5 this is negative 5 the original part of that graph over here is gone and this part down here that's going to be on negative 10 here we are doing sine so we're sketching a graph of sine from 360 to negative 360 so we've got that okay um, I suppose we want to put on important points there so we're in degrees 180 360 minus 180 minus 360 so always put the points where the graph crosses the axis part B now the modulus is around the whole thing which means we take any parts of the graph which are below the axis and we flip them up so you're going to get this not the greatest sketch in the world but it's the right shape the place things in the right places that will get me the mark so again I'm going to put down these places where it's touching or crossing the axis oops that's plus one and it doesn't go down to negative one and then C it's just around the X so this time we take the positive X part of the graph and we reflect it to the negative X part of the graph so we'll end up with that with our minus one down here our one up there and our 180 and 360 just out of interest you may want to try um, sketching this so this is something for you to try try this um, y equals cos modulus x do that and see what happens this is more typical of what you get in an exam a sketch is given with all these coordinate points and you need to draw the the um, transformation and just put the coordinates on a b c d and e so on this one anything that's at the bottom gets flipped up so um, the bit after minus 7 gets flipped up and then it goes like this and then the bit below the axis gets flipped up and it goes down like that it looks like an asymptote <clears throat> so we just put these points in some of them haven't changed so that's still minus 7 this is still 3 and this point here now becomes 6 5 rather than 6 minus 5 so 6 5 this point here stays the same that's 11 um, and the peak which was there we go that peak was at the bottom 
uh, that stays the same actually that's still the same so minus 2.515 so that doesn't change probably should put the letters on a b c d e and then in part b the modulus is just around the x so we take the positive part of the graph which is this and we're going to reflect it so we have this we reflect that in the y-axis so we end up with this meant to be symmetrical right so actually now we just take the positive coordinates and we make sure we put the same one in negative so if this is 3 this will be negative 3 uh, this is 11 there uh, this down here was 6 minus 5 so over here this will put now be negative 6 negative 5 and we're done so now do exercise 2e on pages 42 to 44.